I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Rogue's Tale, a classic roguelike game. I'm just going to jump right into the game and uh, make my character here. have some very limited customization. Looks like a few options will unlock. As far as stats go, survivability is key, so stamina and agility are good to start out with. We also have some bonuses that can be achieved, unlocked. Now this game is very unforgiving. Uh, as shown here, I start out with a dagger, no armor, and right next to a deadly, deadly rat. So I'm going to go after this sword and hope I can pick it up before I'm attacked. Try to equip this. Okay. I did manage to dodge that attack and killed it. Good. It's very easy to die just in the first room. Lighting these torches on the wall will give you an experience point each, so it's good to do that. And those blood caps right there are mushrooms that can help increase my hunger and thirst, but they also have the possibility of giving me some bad side effects. And already I've achieved another level just by unlocking a door and killing a rat. Have some very derpy sounding snails in here. Not so deadly compared to the other creatures in the dungeon. But they will kill you. And I picked up a scroll that I cannot use until I identify it. Which costs money, and I have to find a wandering merchant. Didn't mean to walk into the wall there. Now the controls are kind of weird in this game. Um, and that, wow, I just set off an alarm, so the creatures in the dungeon know I'm here. That's uh, not a good start. You can search around and... Oh, it summoned a snail. You can search for traps and that sort of thing, but it's really awkward because all the controls are on the right side of the keyboard, and special actions are on the left. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, sounds like we got another rat. There it is. Okay. Try and throw a stone at it. Missed completely. Oh, crap. Here's a bat. And I'm dead. This happens a lot in this game, as it does in all roguelikes. Man of Zero Talent. Well, I have seen this screen many times, as you can see here. Okay, try it again. Now, I just made a rookie mistake here. I attacked that snail. What I should have done first was grab that chain helmet. Now I have some armor. And, uh... Here's a wolf that triggered a trap. Great. As I was trying to rest and recover for some health. Hopefully it won't kill me good. Wolves are very deadly. I was not pleased to see that. So, by resting, you can recover your health, but you have to be satiated in your hunger and your thirst. Which means you have to keep up eating and drinking. And these mushrooms do take care of both. That thing on the floor there is uh, a skill up, and I can't use it yet. Because I don't have any skill points waiting for me. But now I do, so let's go back and use it. Okay, so this is for magic. Uh, I'm just gonna unlock literacy common, because if I unlock all of my literacies, I will get one of those uh, bonuses there on the title screen. Unfortunately, I still can't really use magic because of it. So it is kind of a waste, but... Unless I found something that would train me in melee or ranged combat, or a well, where I could get just sort of a, a personal skill up. Okay, here's a tome. That's for magic. Ooh, an axe. Finally, I have a better weapon. I can dual wield here. I'm not sure if there's a side effect to uh, dual wielding. Usually in these games, you have sort of a penalty when you dual wield. But I am going to need all the help I can get. Okay, here's a tombstone. You can read it, but sometimes if you break it, uh, it'll drop items or like a skeleton warrior will drop out. And they're kind of tough, but if you beat them, you get a lot of good stuff. So let's give it a try. It's just a rock. Great. 
So, just go down to the next floor, and right away there's a rat, and then orc. Oh, crap. Oh, good. It looks like he's engaged in another battle of his own. Monsters will fight each other, which is very useful, but I'm almost out of health, and I don't really have anything to help me here, because eating does not heal me. Okay, random potion in the bookcase. Let's give that a try. And it slowed me down. Great. There's a new piece of armor, though, so that's good. Oh, crap. I have dungeon disease, which has a lot of nasty side effects, like uh, the reduction of my stats. I am going to die. Getting this is no good. I'm coughing up blood. Yeah. And just like that. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate, but rats do tend to give you the plague, so... Try it again, because that's all you can do in a roguelike. And I just found a trap. Fantastic. I have to spend some time trying to get out of the trap first, which is really annoying. At least it wasn't a spike trap, because then I would have kept taking damage. Okay, I'm going to keep boosting my agility, because I have nothing on me right now, and I need to avoid damage. Someone already triggered a spike trap there. Looks like an alarm as well. Oh, crap. Uh, let's see if I can get that snake to run into the spikes. I don't think it will. And it sounds like there's a rat running around as well. Okay. I was really lucky right there. I didn't take any damage. Both of those creatures... Oh, there's bear traps, too. The wandering monsters have triggered all of the traps in this room, which is very convenient for me. I picked up a crossbow and a regular bow. I have no ammunition for either, though. So, uh, I guess I'll just equip... Well, actually, I should equip the crossbow because it takes up more room in my inventory. It sounds like a spider out there. A snail. Ooh, and a shield, finally. I have something, at least. Help me defend myself. I could really do with a better weapon, though. Ooh, and, uh, looks like something fell into the spike trap. Can't get whatever's in there, though, but I can jump over it, and I'm gonna jump over it again. I'll leave the... Uh, I took some damage there, but hopefully the wolf will fall into it, and it did. There we go. Okay. Well, that was advantageous. Just do some resting here. I'm gonna need all the health I can get finally have some arrows. So now I can get rid of that crossbow because I don't really need it. I'll wait to drop it though. Oh well. Okay. So this will give me many different talents. I think I'll go with six cents because that lets me detect cursed items and such. And there's the spider. Okay. Now I should really walk around with my ranged out. But uh, I think I can just melee this snail and not waste my arrows. Pick up a rock. Hopefully we're coming to the end of this. Oh, I just found a magic teleportation trap. Fantastic. Let's see if I can find my way back over there. 
That's the way down. So I've got to go all the way around, it looks like. I could just go down, but you never know what I'll be missing, okay? Snake fell into a bear trap. Another shield, worthless to me right now. Your items will wear and break down. So you do have to replace them. Or at least the, uh... We need some strength. At least the weapons do. I have yet to have a shield be destroyed on me. Let's see if I can disarm that. Nope! Sent me back to another part of the dungeon. Okay. Well, as you can see... Jump this again. Uh, this is just a very basic roguelike. Uh, it is like all the other roguelikes, really. Um, the controls, as I was saying earlier, have I checked that? Uh, they are kind of awkward because you can use the mouse for things as well. You don't have to stick with the keyboard, but uh, using the mouse is really awkward. Especially when you can use hotkeys. Okay. Make sure my arrows are topped up. Shields are exactly the same, so I'll leave this one here. And the crossbow. Organize everything. Okay, my sixth sense told me that was a bad mushroom. And this one has the blindness side effect. But I want to get my uh, satiation up. Okay, that one made me confused. Let's just go with the food and water then. They last longer than the mushrooms anyway, but... Oh, hell. Okay. Okay, uh, you can talk to characters. This one does not want to talk to me, which means it's an enemy. Uh, good, good, good. They're in engaged with each other. Hopefully they will kill each other. Cleric is dead. Can I take the orc? No. No, I couldn't. Damn it. Probably should have just waited in ambush. Waited for them to come to me and sniped them, but uh, that's how it goes. So that's the game. It goes for five bucks, but I'm not really sure it's worth it. I mean, to be honest, the game just doesn't bring anything new to the genre. And, uh, I mean, when you consider that there are so many roguelikes out there that are much more in-depth, I mean, even in just character creation, and they are free and open source, I, I really don't see why you would go for this over those. Maybe they can still add stuff later. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.